Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the Command 66 Day Challenge 2.0, Day 35. Marty Miller coming to you from a hot day in Houston, Texas. Yesterday, we talked to you a little bit about the beginnings of interaction between the command submenus or applets, and today we're going to continue that education and vary it just slightly. So today I'm going to show you how Sketch House is now interacting with Lead Accelerator, and that's via the creation of a postcard in Sketch House, and then the ability to upload that same postcard within Lead Accelerator. So let's get into Sketch House. We're gonna make a quick postcard. So we're gonna choose down here the plus sign, a print template, and we're gonna create that template. And we can choose a listing or skip that. I'm gonna skip it for now. And let's do a price update postcard. And let's choose this first one. If you see the two, that means it's a two page. You can kind of see the back page back here. Of course, it's a postcard, so it would be a front and a back. So we're gonna go ahead and click on use template. And it's gonna pull up the editor. And from there, we can start to make edits from the template to match up our listing. So I'm gonna click on KWLS down here. And I'm actually gonna search by listing address and let's pull up one of my listings here on 16635 orchid mist i can select that listing and boom here come the photos so the really cool part is i can click on this photo i can come over here and see this replace image or swap button i can click on that and immediately it replaces that background image with my new image now looking at this i know that there is content underneath this gray area so i just need to pull this pages button down and it'll allow me to see the rest of the content there. So I'm gonna change this 10,000. We've actually dropped this price. This is actually a real life scenario. So we have actually dropped this house 21,000. And I'm gonna click on this over here on this box. And it was 340. And it is now, I can click in this box. If I double click, Whoops. See, now I moved that on accident, so I can just come up here and click on undo, and it'll put it back to where it is. And then I'm gonna double click on this little price guy, and then I'm gonna click between the dollar sign and the 200, and I'm gonna put 319, which is the current price. I'm gonna come down here, double click on this area. This is a four bed. I'm gonna click here next to the two, it's 3.5. And then the square footage is, Sorry, I don't have that memorized, 33.96. So I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna take this out and put in 33.96. And I believe it was built in 2013. That is correct. So I'm gonna change 2015 to 2013. So there I have the front of my postcard, All right? I've got the new price, whoops, Let's see, 21,000. Oh yeah, that's the price drop, now it's 319,000. So now I can come down here where it says current design, I'm on page one. If I click this arrow, it'll take me to the back page. And now I wanna edit this. Now I don't have a photo that's gonna look good this big rectangular. So I'm actually gonna double click this photo and I'm gonna delete it. If it'll let me hang on real quick, cancel and let's click on it. I'm gonna click on it once and delete it. I also don't need a placeholder. So I'm gonna click on the placeholder and delete that. I'm gonna come over to images and I have already previous videos uploaded my agent photo. So if I click on that once, I can just kind of slide that over here and drop it in right there. Now I'm gonna go through, double click, change all of this information. And I want this box to be a little bigger. So I'm gonna to attempt to click on this box. And when I get that little white line right there, it means I can drag it over. So we'll drag it over there. Now I'm gonna click on real estate team name. I'm gonna hit delete and delete all of that information and put it in my team name. We're gonna come down to phone number. I'm gonna double click on phone number, click right there where I want to delete. I'm gonna arrow over slightly. I'm gonna put in my cell phone number. And I don't know that I need the office number, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that out of there. I'm gonna arrow down to email and do backspace that out. Put in my email. And then finally, I'm gonna down arrow one more time and I'm gonna put in my website. 
So you guys can do this simple and easy. Basically, you're just pulling up the template, you're making the changes. Last thing is I need to get rid of this DBA. That is not my company's DBA. I wanna bring in my company's DBA. I wanna drag it up to that right-hand corner. I'll probably shrink it down just a touch, put it up there in the corner kind of where it was. And now everything matches. I like what I've got, so now I'm gonna download it. Couple notes on downloads. So you wanna make sure to upload this into the Real Mailer campaign. It needs to be a PDF, okay? I'm gonna do download in range and I'm gonna just do one to one. I just want the first page right now. High resolution print quality and I'm gonna start the download. So that's gonna begin downloading it. It'll pop up down at the bottom of my screen. Next, I wanna go back to page one, click over here and then I want it to download again, PDF, download range. Now I just wanna do two to two high resolution and start the download. The reason I have to do two separate downloads is because when I get into real mailers, I'm going to have to upload the front and then upload the back. So my first download was the front. The second download was the back. I now have two photos downloaded here. Here's my original. This is going to be the back and then this is going to be the front. Okay, so now I can click on done. I'm going to go ahead and save that just in case I want to make any changes later. And now I'm going to come into Lead Accelerator and I'm going to create a new campaign in Lead Accelerator. And you'll see how we get to interact. So it's gonna be a direct mail campaign, intermarketing campaign, let's see, price improvement, Orchid Mist is what I'm going to call it. It says, do you wanna use a dynamic template or update my own design? I actually wanna use an update my own design. Okay, my goal is for to, I don't wanna attract listing, I'm gonna advertise listing, and then I'm gonna configure my campaign. And then I'll show you from here. Now I can go through all of this information as we've done in previous challenges. However, this is the part that is new. I can drag and drop or browse files. So if I do that, I click on my downloads. I know that the first one was page one. The second one was page, I'm sorry, the, this one is page one. And if I click on it, you'll see it'll open it up. Oops, I did it backwards. So I don't need this one. I'm gonna trash it. The front of the postcard, needs to be this one there we go okay so that one's set up and then i'm going to come down here i'm going to drag and drop and i'm going to do the other one and that should be the back so now you can see i've got the front of my postcard the back of my postcard and then i can decide what size do i want this postcard to be and work through the real mailer campaign program to get it actually sent out so this is a great change one. It's the opportunity to create your own postcards, download them, and then upload them. I do know that pretty soon, hopefully within the next month, maybe two months, we're gonna be able to actually, maybe even quicker than that, um, but we're gonna be able to just drag our, our campaigns that we have made without having to download and upload. But for now, it's the ability to be able to create custom postcards. Previously with direct mail, we had three templates that we had to stick with. Now we can use our own templates. So. Pretty cool improvement on the direct mail campaign through real mailers and the ability to integrate sketch house create your design and then upload it into the direct mail program guys it was a little long today but i thought that was really important a really cool add-on um, improvement to kw command as our applets begin to talk to one another and work even better together to improve the strength and power of kw command as um, our platform for future success in real estate. So as always, it's been a pleasure talking to you and I will look forward to speaking with you in the morning. Have a great rest of your Sunday.